Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Pisces during Libra season. So this is for um, starting September 28th when the new moon is in Libra until October 28th when the new moon moves into Scorpio. So just a reminder for you water babies that uh, Libra is ruled by Venus, so love and relationships is really important at this time. And um, Libra is also an air sign. Remember, they're all about balance and about the scales. Um, it's an ideal time for starting new friendships, romances, or joining any type of group. Um, and it's a great time to contemplate what you need to initiate with regards to relationships, um, how you can stay in balance, and how you can help others in need. Um, this is going to be a six card reading, and then I'm going to pull some oracle cards at the end. Um, and before we do that, I'd just like to give a virtual hug and a shout out to all of my returning listeners and viewers. I love you guys so much. Your comments mean the world to me. And I also would like, I'm going to ask you to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and definitely leave me a comment. Um, and stay tuned to the end of the video to catch any of my additional uh, readings. Um, I do daily readings as well if you do not follow that already. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first card out is where can I bring more harmony into my life? And here we have the Princess of Cups. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy coming through. And the Princess's Cup, Princess of Cups is that sort of initiation of intuition. So um, for those of you that are clairvoyant or tarot readers or use your intuition, um, this is sort of like, this is initiating that, um, paying attention to it, starting to develop it, you know, be the student of the universe, um, pay attention to signs and synchronicities. This is also a card all about love, although it's sort of a more, one of the more immature, the most immature of the court cards. Now I'm not saying that you are immature, but there is a message here to learn to love without jealousy which I know for some of us water signs that can be a little bit difficult and not to just love for love's sake and not just to be in love with love, but to actually love the person that you are with or if not, release them so they can find somebody that does truly love them. And remember, this could be for you or it could be what you could change the characters in the story as well, okay? Um, so what can I do to bring balance to my emotions? Very nice. You have the Empress card. The Empress card is all about nurturing, all about abundance, and all about creativity. She's usually pregnant with ideas or actually with child, but it's somebody who is all about bringing about abundance and creativity. She lives in this Garden of Eden of, in luxury. Um, so really, you know, this is all about pampering yourself, pampering the people that you love, okay, and being really creative. Let all of that creative energy flow within you. You know, there's a world of possibilities on this card, you know. It's also being in touch with nature for some of you and being in touch with your family if you have children um, and with your spouse. That is going to bring you a lot of balance this Libra season, my dear Pisces. So how can you create more beauty in your environment? Here we have the world. This is so crazy because this exact same card came out for Aquarius. So I do suggest that you check out the Aquarius reading as well, um, which should be up on my channel. Now the world card, this is all about bringing about the end of a cycle. This is all about celebrating your accomplishments flowing in everything that you've done. Just embrace everything that you've done, everything that you've accomplished, okay? And bring the world in into your environment. So this may be, I'm getting for you travel, um, maybe, you know, make sure that if you have international friends, you're staying in touch with them, inviting people over to your house, maybe for dinner. I'm not sure why I'm getting that. Um, but you know, I'm getting like, you know, like eat new, like, you know, eat new foods, like go to Indian restaurants, Thai restaurants, um, or, you know, invite friends over to collaborate with meals. I'm getting that so strong here with you guys on how you can beautify your environment. Also, maybe you need to, um, you know, as far as decor in your house, in your home, you know, bring a more international flair to it, but make sure that you don't lose yourself in, in doing so. All right, Pisces. Um, so what will help make me feel at peace? This is the three of wands. I love this. This is growth and this is expansion. This may be with a business. It may be with a passion. It may be with a creative idea. Okay, that we have here showing up with the Empress. Um, and this is all about, you know, standing in your power. In other decks, the th oh, sorry, this is not the Three of Wands. Sorry, this is the Prince of Wands. 
Okay, but it's still the same idea and the fact that the Prince of Wands is all about this passion and this drive and having all the energy to move forward in any sort of creative or financial project. Okay, and he is all about bringing about expansion. He just hasn't quite gotten there, there yet. He's still in the planning stages. It is a reminder, don't be too impulsive. Make sure that you have done the research um, before you push through. Uh, the Prince of Wands is all about just using, you know, his his strength and his will and his passion to, to bring about what he wants, okay? And so that's really nice. So what's going to help you feel at peace is, you know, really, you know, um, honing in, meditating on what it is your true desires are and going full force and throwing yourself into that and making that happen. Um, the next card out is how you can form strong bonds with people. This is the four of wands. I'm getting, um, you know, with all this wands energy, it's uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. So you may be dealing with somebody with those signs in your life, um, or you may have that in your chart. Um, but how you can form strong bonds with others. The four of wands is all about, you know, look at how perfectly balanced she is. Um, and the four of wands is all about that... Um, you know, it's all about that stability. Fours are about stability. Stability, she's stable, and no matter what situation she's in, because she's grounded, okay, and she has the strength, and she's got that, that strength of her own core to rely on. Now, oftentimes the Four of Wands is a marriage card, but I do only really see one person here, and we do have a bird coming in that's bringing this person lots of peace during their meditation. Okay, so I'm getting that you're going to, what's going to help you um, form strong bonds with others is making sure that you are centered, that you feel strong um, and comfortable in your own skin, okay? Now, what is your highest intention for your relationships? Here we have the Two of Pentacles. I love this card because he's just dancing and he's so balanced. He's barefoot on the beach, even though there are rocks and there are sticks and there are snakes and there are shells and there are pointy things that could poke at him. He doesn't care because A, he's used to walking barefoot, so he has all the calluses and all the protection he naturally needs. Okay, but he's all about balance. He's all about bringing balance to every situation. And that's your highest intention is to make sure that everyone is taken care of. Now, the Pentacles card, it's all about material wealth and health and well-being. This is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. And that's what you want. You want balance for everyone and yourself. And you just want everything to be very, very smooth sailing. Now, your overall energy here is the Ace of Swords. This is a big yes. This is an aha moment. This is clarity and this is communication. And this is that you're seeing everything very clearly and you're able to move forward with ease in this Libra season. Now, Spirit, please tell uh, Pisces what other energies can assist them during Libra season. What other energies can assist uh, Pisces during Libra season? All right, the Spirit Whisperer, the Divine Guidance, Higher Knowing. So this is a, a number card of three. So we have that coming out with the Empress, right on top of the Empress. But the three is all about paying attention to the signs and synchronicities and also paying attention to your intuition, okay? And just remember that Spirit, your angels, your ancestors, your loved ones, and your Spirit Guides are accompanying you in this journey, on this journey. And so they will be guiding you to, uh, to show you the next steps in this journey all right because libra is a sign a time for love and relationships spirit please tell us what other messages pisces need for the libra season what other messages does pisces need for the libra season okay stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance very nice, okay? Uh, there's not much more to say than that other than make sure that, you know, you don't get too stuck in a in a downward spiral of, you know, feeling like, oh, I'm alone or no one loves me. Um, stay optimistic no matter what is happening in your surroundings. What other messages, Spirit, do you have for Pisces during Libra season? Spirit, what other messages do you have for Pisces during Libra season? Door to Romance, 33. So again, we have the number three coming out again. This is four threes. We have the Empress three, the Spirit Whisperer three, and then we have 33, Door to Romance. So for some of my Pisces out there, you know, you will be, um, you will be starting a romantic 
uh, relationship or you may be rekindling a romantic relationship just remember here that um, you can bring more harmony into your romance and into your life by allowing romance to come into your life but also learning to love without jealousy okay and take like a light and uh, play a playful sort of attitude towards love during Libra season and if this isn't an actual love relationship um, it may be that self-love as well Oof. all right wow too many cards popped out there all right spirit please tell us what other energies will assist us on our journey for Pisces in Libra in the Libra season what other energies will assist Pisces in Libra season okay and we have green Tara. I love green Tara. Look at just how gorgeous she is. And look at all of the abundance all around her. I want you to look at these two cards. She is very much so like the Empress, just surrounded by love and beauty and abundance and flowers and food. Okay, she's just so gorgeous. Supreme protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation and trust. Wow, very, very nice. I want you to look at how this green-blue energy really plays together here with these four, five cards here. That's that water energy, Pisces. Um, you know, so, you know, stay in the flow. Trust your emotions. Trust your intuitions. Trust that you are protected, that you have, um, you know, that you have your spirit guides. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to actually pull an animal spirit card for you guys just to give you a little bit more information here because I feel like it's too beautiful not to. All right, so just one moment. So spirit, please give us some more information for Pisces during this Libra season. I'm just so taken aback by look at how beautiful all of these cards work together. Ah, oh, that blue, that green, that's creativity, that's flow. Mm, that's water. It's just some of the most beautiful waters in the whole wide and the whole earth, on the whole earth. Okay, here we go. Crow spirit, co-create with spirit number 17. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there with you guys. Um, pay attention to any crows you might see on your daily journeys. Uh, that may be a message from spirit. And also to pay attention to your thoughts if and or you see crows. Pay attention to what you're thinking about. Make sure you raise your vibration and make sure you stay optimistic because it looks like some really good things are coming to you guys in Libra season. All right, I love you guys so much. Uh, go ahead, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. I love you guys so much and have a wonderful, wonderful Libra season.